Good morning. My name's Gordon. I'm a tour guide. That's a little bio about myself. It's also a kitchen sink drama. Uh, it's the best place and the quietest place in the house at the moment to actually make these little videos. Um, I've been a tour guide for about three years now. And prior to that, I've been in business quite a number of years. I've had a number of occupations. I think as you go older, you tend to add. I've been a policeman, a judge, businessman, and now I'm a tour guide and actor. In the last three years, I decided to try my hand at a little bit of acting, and I've appeared in a number of productions. Some you might know if you're from the United States and uh, Northern Europe, like Outlander, I've been an Outlander, and a few uh, films like Transporting 2. British uh, productions for BBC, The Cry, etc. So I'm quite well known in the uh, acting film in a small way. I'm never going to be the next James Bond, I'm a realist about it. But I've always been interested in history and that's why I'm, I've led me into tour guiding. Quite a fact, I'm quite passionate about history, particularly Scottish history. If I was reading any kind of book, it would be some sort of historical treatise. Um, tours, I do a number of tours. Uh, I suppose the most popular type of tour I would do would be a city walking tour, ranging from about one hour to three hours, depending upon what the guests are looking for. Just pick them up at a particular point or meet at a particular point, and then tour either Edinburgh or Glasgow. Edinburgh's the most popular, um, Edinburgh's our capital city, obviously, but Glasgow's our largest city, and I come from Glasgow, I'm from the west, the west side. But it was only 40 minutes away, so I, I work in there more often than I say I work in Glasgow. Uh, don't have a favourite, they're both, they're both spectacular cities. Edinburgh is dynamic because of the tourism and the castle, etc. Whereas Glasgow has uh, little nooks and crannies that you can explore, the medieval city as well. Um, so they're, they're both interesting, both have tons of history, if that's your bag. Architecture. Uh, classes Victorian architecture, Edinburgh um, has medieval, uh, Georgian and Victorian, but they're different. I uh, also do driver guided tours where I pick you up in a car, a small minibus, something like that, and uh, take you and your party either around maybe in the city itself, which Glasgow's a big city, as is Edinburgh, if you want to see it all, well, it's difficult to walk it in uh, a few hours. So uh, a four hour tour will take you around most of Edinburgh or Glasgow. Uh, you could also do the uh, Central Lowlands, the Trussocks, Loch Lomond, um, Stirling. You could do that in about four or five hours. Yeah, that would be picking up from a hotel, cruise ship, a central meeting point, that sort of thing. Um, two, three day, one, two, three, one, two and three day tours. That would get you a bit further afield, right up into the Highlands, uh, right up to Skye. In three days you get up to Skye, Fort William, Loch Ness, etc. Um, tips, if I was giving advice, don't try and do Scotland in a day. We do get tourists that come and for one day and expect to see Loch Ness, Loch Ness, Glasgow and Edinburgh in one day. It can't be done. And you, you certainly don't need a tour guide, you need a racing driver. Um, it's, it's just not possible. It's a small country, and it's only the south, size of South Carolina, if that means anything to you, but a little bit bigger than Holland, but you still won't see it in a day. Three days will give you a flavour. Um, um, and what I suggest to most people is take, take a five day break, a couple of days in Edinburgh, a day in Glasgow and then maybe a couple of days in Ireland. But I can tailor, because I'm small, one man band, I can tailor the tours to meet to your expectations, whether it's history, uh, whether it's genealogy, um, it's, it's entirely up to yourself. I like to think I do it with a, a good sense of humour and uh, um, I, can, I can dig things out of the past and, and the present that you may find unusual. So I'm not a filmmaker, not really much of an actor either, but, so my, apology, my apologies for the quality of this, but it maybe gives you a little bit of flavour of what I'm like. Gordon, Gordon Hart, thank you for watching. Good luck. Bye-bye.